as you can see it's very very cluttered up now you've probably all heard the phrase before now if I had a cat you want no what, what is it now I haven't got space to swing a cat if I did it hit his head okay no resistance no disrespect to pussies we all love pussies pussy cats meow right okay it's enough of that right workshop price small bending rolling machine but flat steel or round tube or sorry round bar actually and anytime I want to use that I have to undo the vise twist it round and it sticks out here and I can use it in the middle of the shed here and then I've got all that what's totally cluttered up and I've got this wheel there's a story behind that wheel I'll tell you in a minute now as we turn around here I've got the heavy duty bending machine here now anytime I want to use that I have to take it outside and I then have to assemble the Black & Decker workmate and stand it on that and pin it to it to stop it moving and falling all over the place and lifting it in and lifting it out and what have you now also I've got this here which was made I'd say the best part now of 18 to 20 years ago I made this when I lived in Ireland with a friend of mine Jerry if you ever get to see this uh, video Jerry thank you very much now the reason I brought Jerry into that because this little bit here where that fits into that's been machined on a lathe and he done that at work for me and also the welding on this at the time Jerry had an oil cord welder and the welder I had wasn't that good so Jerry obliged me and helped me do that as well now why am I showing you that well the thing is I've got a port of power there for pulling out and straightening bits and pieces what they use on cars and what have you and I actually use that on the portal power to push bearings in and things like that and over the years it has come in very very handy it's not a thing I actually use a lot now but I'm going to use the frame of it so what I'm going to do in this video stick with me and I'll show you but before I do let's go back to that wheel just a standard wheel I went into um, a shop there last week to get a number plate from the trailer what I made for those who haven't seen it um, I've made a trailer to pull behind the motorcycle take a look at it it's not a bad old video anyway I went into the shop to buy a number plate for me uh, trailer and it was the first time I've been in this shop so I just said to the guy just out of curiosity I said uh, how much is a front wheel I mean, what size and I said well, 26 inch first number I could actually think of you know couldn't think of any other so he said funny enough he says I've got a second hand one in the window 24.99 complete wheel tire tube pumped all cleaned up so I took it I said right I'll have that please don't ask what I'm gonna do with it I didn't need it I just bought it I just had to have it why I do not know and let's crack onto the video and get to where we were going right guys as you can see there I've cut some pieces of steel and also ones with a degree there so I can prop that up as a stand to give it more support so I've got four of those two lengths of that flat steel and two lengths of that flat steel and that was all cut by my BS85 bandsaw which I got there on Amazon which has not been sponsored just thought I'd let you know that so now I've just got to drill some holes in these two top plates which assembles to the uh, heavy duty roller okay guys we'll crack on as you can see now I've actually got the uh, the feet and the little legs fixed on her and also you can see where I, I used to have a bracket what used to go on the wall in the garage originally and the same with the 
top bracket there what used to go on the wall to support it and now you can see the actual top plates what I've put on to hold the large bending machine so it's coming along nicely the reason I left these on I actually used it to work off the ground while I was doing the other parts so uh, I'll cut it off very shortly just to clean it up a bit so we'll carry on as you can see I've cut off the brackets what used to hold it to the wall so now it's freestanding just on the uh, floor from now on and I can put it on a trolley to move it around if need be coming along nicely right guys as you can actually see now I've got me small little um, roller bender and that does small bar and also flat bar and round bar for the small side then I've got the um, heavy duty one on that side and if you come down here I've also got where you fit the ram on and that acts as me press and it's freestanding to pull in and out the workshop now and uh, that is my little project for today so okay girls and guys hope you like it if you do please give it a thumbs up and uh, until next time I will catch you later thank you very much stay safe